and welcome back to the Glenn Alex Show. Our mission is for you to be joyful, confident, connected, and complete. The life experience we call wealth, W-E-L-L-T-H, which is health plus other riches. I'm Glenn Alex, the wealth counselor, clinical social worker, and author of Living in Total Health. And my life's work is about health because healthy people, physically, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually healthy people are more genuine, are more giving, are more loving, and do not intentionally harm self or others. Please think about that for a moment. Murder, abuse, theft, deceit, manipulation are perpetrated by unhealthy people who have voids in their lives that they fill by harming others. Healthy people do not intentionally harm self or others. And I believe that healthy people will unite us and heal the world's wounds. So please join me in welcoming my guest, Dr. Denise Tropia, uh, to the Glenn Alex Show. Good morning. Good morning. How Pleasure are you? Be here. Good. Very good. Thank you. Excellent. Oh my gosh! I'm so thank you for for making time uh, to be here and educate us about um, immunity. But before we jump into anything, uh, please just tell us who you are and what you do. Well, I've been in the medical field uh, over three decades, probably about 35 years now. I um, started out uh, as a medical technologist working in the labs and then going uh, for some graduate work in immunology. And then I said, what else? What else? And then I went to medical school, actually podiatric podiatry medical school uh, for um, to, to complete my postgraduate training. So I am by license a podiatrist, a foot and ankle surgeon, diabetic wound specialist. I completed a two-year residency in Salt Lake City uh, back many years ago. And I've been in private practice in Las Vegas for uh, approximately 27 years. Um, I closed my practice down, closed my practice down a couple of years ago because I was just not aligned anymore with you know, what was going on. I mean, I could take it to a certain point. I was a solo practitioner, a dinosaur, you may say. And, you know, it was time for me to move on. I've always been uh, very passionate about alternative health modalities and also brought that together with my practice. So now where I'm at is I'm semi-retired out of medicine. I still uh, dabble a bit to really work with diabetes, wounds, uh, and a lot of other chronic conditions, but I have really just broadened out into um, helping people to regain and maintain their health, utilizing alternative health modalities. Okay, fantastic. fantastic. Well, um, De Denise um, attended one of my webinars on boundaries, and and so when she introduced herself. Um, in the webinar, I looked her up and then I went and watched one of her uh, webinars on, on immunity and I was absolutely fascinated by the information she presented. So I had to have her on the show, <laughs> especially these days with you know the virus running around and everything. And there's so much I wanna discuss with you. I hope we can get it all in. Uh, okay. If not, then you'll just have to come back. Um, part two, part two is always <laughs> open. Right, okay. Um, so let's just jump right into it. What, why is the immune system important? What is it and why is it important? Well, the immune system is necessary for us to survive. If we did not have an immune system, we would not have life. And it is the frontline response to everything that we come in contact with. Uh, the b bacteria, viruses, um, you know, just just everything in our everyday life. We don't even realize what's going on in the backdrop of our immune system. It is, like I said, truly the first responder. There are immune cells on our skin, a lot of immune cells that are in our skin. We don't, you know, 
don't even realize that, right? Unless someone right. tells you right. or unless you read about it. And there's immune cells that are in your mucous membranes, your nose, your mouth, et cetera. What, what they're do, your throat, what it's doing is just protection. It's protection. And then what we're doing with strengthening our immune system is you know, eating a certain way, taking certain supplements, uh, stress level. I think we're going to talk about all this throughout our uh, discussion today. But our immune system is really our, our foundation for survival. And there is a certain amount of innate immunity that we get when we are in the womb. So when we're born, we have like a little test kit, so to speak, you know, and then it grows from there. Now, we do know that when we're infants and as we grow up, there's a certain amount of immunity that we have to acquire. And, uh, you know, I look at it from both perspectives. You know, we look at the vaccination, no vaccination, a combination thereof. I mean, it's there's no easy answers. It is complex. But what we need to do continually as we get older, is we need to strengthen and keep our immune system at its optimum. Okay. okay. Well, that's pretty clear that if we don't have an immune system, we don't have life. Um, so with I, I never even considered having immune cells on the skin. And um, if we have immune cells um, all over the, our bodies within and without, are there a number of diseases that our immune system kills that we are not even aware of? Yes, we are combated with bacteria and viruses all day long. We have bacteria on our skin. We have bacteria in our nostrils. Our mouth, of course, has bacteria. You know, other cavities of our body does. Look at our gut. Our gut has a lot of good bacteria, and we need to keep that good bacteria in good shape because when the bad bacteria comes in, that's when all the problems start. That's when we talk about probiotics and all that. But yes, it is just so important to keep these cells working as optimally as possible. And when we do that, then immunosenescence, as we call it, that means is as we get older, oh, my immune system's shot. Oh, my. No, I don't believe that. You know, I'm getting there in age. Yes. But you know what? What I do now, it, it, it has truly turned back the clock for me. And that's what this is what I want to uh, really um you know, shine light on with the masses is that just because you are older, whatever older may mean, you know, to me now, you know, I want to live life to the fullest. I want to have quality of life, but it doesn't necessarily mean that because I'm older, I can't do these things or I'm going to be plagued with certain conditions. What kinds of things are you doing to strengthen your immune system as you age? Well, it's very important lifestyle. Lifestyle is really at the forefront right here. Uh, with the proper um, diet, let's say, supplementation, I'm very much into that with the uh, different supplements that we can do to help, you know, strengthen it, to help make it stronger, to help us combat certain things that we are um you know, confronted with day in and day out. And we don't realize that. Can you give um, us an example or two? Or, uh, well, yeah, pretty much, you know, with supplementation, we're looking at things such as antioxidants. Okay. Antioxidants, your fruits and vegetables, very important. But we do know that our fruits and vegetables aren't the same as they were 50 years no, ago. They're not. So we need to supplement. We need to supplement with uh, various, um, say, vitamin A, uh, zinc, vitamin C, um, say, for example, elderberry. Elderberry um, antioxidant is very, very important. Uh, and also um, fulvic minerals. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of fulvic minerals, but that's actually trace minerals <laughs> from the dirt. That That is from you know, our dirt that the uh, fruits and vegetables are growing in. But we know that nowadays with our soils being depleted, we are not getting uh, the nutrients that we need, those minerals that we need to 
strengthen our immune system, strengthen our gastrointestinal tract, uh, help with our energy in our cells. You know, energy in the cell is very important. It's called ATP. And that is the energy, our little battery that's in there that needs to be fed. If it's not fed, the cell is not fed. The cell is going to be fatigued and die off. And mm -hmm. ATP, and we'll get to that also on the importance of ATP in our cells. So really all that is just so important, those minerals, those vitamins. And also when we talk about DNA repair, we, you know, that's another probably for another day as well. Our DNA is just you know, being our blueprint is so important to repair it so it doesn't continually get replicated and it is broken down. Okay. You know, and that's going to lead to disease as well. Okay. Well, I, I personally um, know the importance of supplementation because I have food allergies and I was diagnosed with a digestive condition uh, three years ago. So I can't eat a lot of fruits and vegetables that, you know, nutritionists say you can eat whole foods and you'll be okay. And I'm like, no, that's not true. <laughs> and I do agree with you that um, because of all the toxins and pollutants in our world, the quality of our food is not the same as it once was. So yeah, uh, supplementation is important, but is the type of supplement just as important? I mean, can I go to this corner store and get the same quality uh, supplement that I can, you know, order from a private company? Well, my saying is no vitamins and supplements are created equal. They really okay. are not. And over the years, I have probably done about 20 years of research Wow. to get me wow. where I am right now in really researching um, the almost the best of the best. And I feel that where I am now with the um, education that I do on the specific topics and what products I bring to the table, I have researched and found them to be the most pure, the bioavailable. Okay. Um, and you know, the testimonials are there, the science is there in which they work. And we can actually see people healing themselves when they are taking these particular products. See a lot of vitamins that are out there in supplements, if they are not so-called FDA uh, cleared or approved, which we know supplementation is not, then we don't really know what's in them. You can have a lot of inferior products. You can have a lot of inert, I-N-E-R-T, um, you know, products in there that your body will never break down. Like there are certain multivitamins mm -hmm. that may not break down at all. And they're just going to lay there in your gut or you're just going to pass them through. And okay. so vitamins should not do that. Supplements should not do that. You have to be able to absorb them. Very, very important. The different things that I'm dealing with now, the product lines, you know, bioavailable, they get into the system, they get into the cell, and we're able to see the proven that they are helping people um, regain and maintain their health. Okay. Well, and, I, and I hope people do reach out to you for um, that guidance. Uh, but for the typical layperson, when they go into the store and pick up a vitamin, what should they look for so they'll know it's bioavailable and it, it'll be effective? Is there anything on a label that will... Yeah, I think what, what you have to do is when you read the labels, really see a lot of their inactive ingredients. Okay. You know, if they have inactive ingredients and they're just there to, you know, keep it all together, so to speak, then I, you know, or if it's a hard, hard type of pill, may not be able to digest it. If it's a capsule, if it's liquid, I know liquids tend to be uh, very helpful. Um, I know, for example, with vitamin D, for example, I do liquid. And I think that is very important under the tongue. It goes right into your system. Uh, there are a couple of supplements that I take that are liquid, some that are capsule. But um, I think those hard um, capsules could be a problem because they're not going to be broken down like the way they should. Okay. Uh, so those are some of the things, although, you know, it's so individualized, um, you know, it's hard to say, but I would say you can't go wrong with liquid. 
Okay. Okay. Sounds good. So um, we know the immune system is important and keeping it strong uh, throughout the years is just as important. So when it comes to support for diseases and this thing out there right now, um, <laughs> can you explain um, the different types of viruses, live, dead, and synthetic, and what's your take on which one would be more effective? Well, viruses are around us all the time. We are in contact with viruses, bacteria. We could have them living on our bodies or in our nose or, you know, I mean, this is, but the thing is, is it's the replication of how much we call it inoculum that we can, that we are um, exposed to. Okay. And the thing is, is once again, it's the battle. Like I said before, if you are exposed to a virus, then depending on your body's condition, depending on the amount you have been exposed to, will determine what is your body going to do with that? Is it something that your body may have seen before? That's where the immune system comes in. Do you have some sort of immunity to this? Okay, let's take the coronavirus. I'm just talking about the whole coronavirus um, family. Okay. And COVID is one, you know, it's a cousin of you know, another Corona. No, you know. So they all have certain similarities to them. So I could have very well you know, been exposed to a coronavirus years ago. Who knows? Now I maybe get tested. And depending on the testing, which we know there has been so much out there and uh, it's very, it gets like scratch your head type of thing. <laughs> I could, with one test, I could have a total negative and with one test I can get a positive because there's a certain amount of coronavirus that uh, my body is, um, you know, um, has seen before. Seen, seen, yeah, seen before. So that's, you know, that's where that is now. You know, then again, people are maybe getting the certain strain that we have now. But the thing is, is, their immune systems are just, you know, taking care of it. Or maybe they're getting like a slight, you know, flu-like symptom. I had a fever. I didn't feel good, but my body went into high gear. I took all, you know, like once I get get ill, and thank God, knock on, you know, knock on wood, I don't that much. But right away, I start with those heavy duty antioxidants. I hit it hard. Someone in my family starts to get ill right away. My husband or kids, what do I do? Oh, here's mom to the rescue. And <laughs> I give them, you know, high doses of antioxidants. And, you know, hopefully, you know, when they start to get better, watch the fever, you know, making sure that they don't need additional, um, you know, remedies. I mean, we may, you know, who knows, our fever may get high enough where we may need to have um, IV fluids or, you know, you have to be careful of that, of course. But like I said, when you nip it in the bud and your, your body is like, you know, here I am, I'm ready to fight it, then you can fight that off. When we talk about uh, certain vaccines that are out there, there's the live ones and then there's the dead ones. And your body is going to behave a little differently with either one, but still it's going to give you that immunity when you are confronted with it again. Okay. okay. Um, so you do, don't get it. And I guess the best thing would be like the, um, say, hepatitis B. Being in the healthcare field for so long, I remember years ago with hepatitis B and that was becoming, we had to be careful, you know, uh, you don't want to get a finger sticker, you know, anything like that. And um, I got the, the vaccine and the vaccine was actually a dead vaccine inactivated, but it gave you long lasting immunity and you had to go for two doses. So you get the first dose and the second one really boosts up that immunity and, you know, call it good. You know, you're hopefully not going to get that hepatitis B. You should not. Then you have like the flu vaccine, which people get every year. 
And that's a live, um, uh, low dose attenuated vaccine. So you're actually getting some of that, some of that live virus in order to get that immune response going. And then this way, if you do see that virus, your body sees that virus, then it's not going to come at you like a ton of bricks. But what happens is, is that that's only one strain. What happens if you get another strain? You know, you may still get get the flu. Um, you know, personally, I've not had the flu virus in over, in about 30 years. Excuse me, flu vaccine, excuse me. I have not gotten the flu vaccine over 30 years. I did once and I got sick from it. You know, I didn't feel well and I know I probably have a certain allergy to that. And then I tried it for the next year, same thing. So no, I, I do not. I just keep my immune system as healthy as possible. So I hope that answered your question. <laughs> it, it did. It did. Um, yes, you did answer the question. Um, I'm wondering, though, if our bodies, um, our immune systems are so uh, effective at attacking these uh, bacteria and viruses that we encounter every day, what's your take on uh, asymptomatic uh, people being able to spread COVID? Um, well, yes, ab absolutely. I mean, yeah, asymptomatic people can, okay. and that's why it is important to understand what the basic, basic protocol is for uh, proper hygiene, washing your hands, keeping your hands away from your face. Um, what else is there? Also, when you're sneezing, you know, or cover your cough, you know, that sort of thing. If you're around someone that is older, yes, if you want to wear a mask, um, you know, take the proper precautions not to um, endanger them, so okay. to speak. Okay. Because like I said, even with, you know, we talk about COVID, but what about the other flus, H1N1, the norovirus, you know, there's a lot of other ones out there. We can be asymptomatic as well and still spread them. Interesting. Okay. Wow, that's very interesting. So what is your um, take on, I, I, you know, I believe in the body, mind, spirit connection. I believe that we need a balance in all of those areas to, to be our optimal, to be, to achieve our, our highest level of existence. What's your take on how the body, mind, spirit connection impacts health? Well, it's, it's just very important. Um, that that really is uh, the cornerstone of optimal health. When you know, when you look at with the mind, the mind is just so powerful, and um, the body is really dictating a lot with what's going on with the mind. And when we look at our cells, like C E L L S, the cells, our cells are always listening. And when we have negative thoughts, it is not very good for our bodies. We are going to, to then, we could manifest disease in our bodies in that respect. So I, I've been very interested. I read a lot about cell resonance, it's called, in which there's actually that energy and that frequency our cells are listening and when we are feeding our bodies, when we are taking care of our bodies, when we're exercising, when we're having those positive thoughts, you know, loving ourselves, it, it, it just is so, so important. And yes, it took me many years to really uncover a lot of that within me. It was been a journey. My spiritual journey started probably over 20 years ago. And uh, because I got very ill. You know, once again, my mind and my body and my spirit, they were all disconnected. But I knew that I had to get them all reconnected. So it is. It's just very, very powerful. And now we're finding that there's just so much going on now um, on a physical level, um, you know, mental level, spiritual level across the globe. We see what's going on now since all this has happened. So I look at this situation with the virus um, and everything that it has impacted 
as something that could be just that global awakening, much like people have their own spiritual awakenings. We're having this global awakening. And that's where, I don't know, my business, uh, just everything is just kind of like taken off for me, probably because this is where I'm supposed to be. And I'm very much into the different vibrations of energy and know that the lower vibration, you know, very, very difficult. It's, it's a lot of conflict, a lot of chaos. As we go up in higher vibrations, we see that, you know, there's that part of the consciousness that's love and healing and really what we're here to do. And that's to be one and to help one another. And, and that's why I believe that the healthy people will save our planet. Um, because the, the people who exist on the lower uh, on the lower levels of, of vibration, they're too caught up in their chaos and and day to day stuff that they are not able to open up and, and extend any kind of genuine love uh, or comfort or compassion to anyone else. And thank you also for what you said about the cells, because one thing I, I do um, say to my clients when they get caught up in that negative self talk, I said, your body hears everything you say. It believes everything you say to yourself. So I, that connection is so important to me as well. So thank you for sharing that. Okay. Now, <laughs> um, I've been doing a little research about this. I didn't find much or it wasn't in a language that I could understand. Um, I don't speak science. And um, I'm just wondering, because... Uh, your um, webinar that I watched and mentioned 5G. Okay. What will that do to the human body? Well, let's just, let's start from the beginning with, with what people say, you know, um, I have a 5G phone. I went from 4G to 5G. My 3G <laughs> won't be working soon. <laughs> I'm <still> going to 5G. <laughs> well, yeah. So, I mean, this is, what we need to do is we need to be educated on that. And I had to educate myself. And for me to be educated, I learned from the best of the best. We have working with us, Warren Hanchi. Warren has been working with quantum energy for over 25 years. What he has brought to the table is educating people on what we need to know to protect ourselves. Our technology is not going away anytime soon. We all want it. We want it now. We want it faster. We want artificial intelligence. You know, the list goes on. But with that comes a price. And the price is, yes, it is detrimental to our health. What, what these 5G is, it's electromagnetic frequencies, EMFs, artificial EMFs that can be very strong when they are around a living being. And what it's going to do is it is going to zap your ATP in your cells, deplete your red blood cells of oxygen, um, irritate the nervous system to the point where people are going to feel anxiety, restlessness. And th this is something that we need to bring to the forefront to people and explain to them that these are very possible problems that you can have depending on how sensitive you are. Everyone is different. They may or may not. For example, you know, I did read an article once about, you know, with the Apple watches, a woman had bought one for her son. Her son started to develop seizures. Could have very well been from the EMFs. Wow. Now, another way to equate what an EMF is, it's a microwave. Now, you know, you don't want to put your head in the microwave, do you? <laughs> but when you put your head against, you know, with the cell phone against your head, then what's happening is you're getting that heat there. What we can do with someone like uh, a quantum scientist like Warren Hanchi, what he's doing is he's filtering that out. We're helping to modulate that system through the use of 
a hologram. Through the use of a hologram, we are then helping that frequency to be not as disruptive to our body, much like what I'm wearing right now. Okay. This is a hologram. I have them on my phone, my laptop, you know, just little filters, little stickers, you know. And we're definitely developing this technology more and more now. It's evolving more and more because we know that we want the technology, but what can we do to help ourselves? Okay. It's almost like we know what's in our environment, but we need to take, you know, the supplements. We need to take things to help optimize our body. So this is just another form in the form of, you know, a hologram, something that you wear in order to help balance you. And it's quantum. Quantum, the quantum leap is here. It is really here. Uh, 2020 came about and I was like, the, the shift, it's the shift because everyone's talking about quantum. Uh, everybody's talking about, you know, the physicists that have been in the backdrop for years. You have Maxwell, you have Constantine Mile, um, you know, the list goes on. Um, Nikola Tesla. I mean, he unbelievable person to, to look at his biography. When you look at his biography and see that he was just so ahead of his time years ago, and now everything is now coming to that forefront because now we're understanding that this is what we need in order to go to that higher vibration, in order to go to that higher level of consciousness and also help to regain and maintain our health in the meanwhile. Okay. So are the holograms personalized or can I just walk into uh, your shop and buy one? Well, we have them online. So we do have a website. Okay. So I don't have to have it uh, calibrated to my personal frequency or anything like that, or it'll no. do that. It'll do that itself. No, the body knows exactly what it wants to do once given okay. the proper. Yeah, it does. It does. Because uh, with the holograms, we have, um, like I said, filters. We call them filters. They're like stickers. And you can put them on your phone, uh, laptop. I have a hologram here that has 5G protection. Also, it has a lot of immune support as well. These are the pendants. And okay. uh, immune support, such as proprietary forms of um, quercetin, zinc, uh, vitamin C, selenium, hydrogen, ATP. It's amazing what he can imprint. You know, you can go to the website that we have, uh, Triple Crown website. Uh, we can get that information to you. And we have certain education webinars that actually Warren discusses how he formulates his holograms, how he imprints things on the holograms. He started working with MasterCard back in 2006 when they started doing the holograms on the credit card. Interesting. So he is, you know, we call him the father of quantum. And I'm so honored to work with him because I am able to put his technology and bridge it with, you know, the physical effects, the science behind what EMFs can do. Like, for example, quoting Warren, he said, I see that big Raider stadium that you have now in Las Vegas. He said, there is so much EMFs around in that whole area for people to get um, adequate service. He said, I would be more concerned about that than I am about the virus. Oh, wow. Because people are just going to be inundated by, you know, by the EMFs. I mean, and you can only imagine when you look at these towers, you know, you have people that live close in close proximity. So we really need to get out to the masses, which we are. We're getting out to them and we are, you know, educating people on what you can do to help protect yourself, knowing okay. that it's here. That's fascinating. So how can people reach you? Well, they can reach me by our um, Triple Crown website, which is uh, Triple Crown Science, all one word, dot com. And on that website, I am with my um, uh, partner, uh, 
she is just an unbelievable person, Dr. Janet Franco. We teamed up together and we're like the dynamic, we call ourselves the dynamic duo, you know, because of the fact that we both feed on each other. You know, she has so much knowledge of everything that she has done over the years uh, with her humanitarian projects, helping veterans, um, just just everything that she's done with her nonprofits. And then I have my scenario in which, you know, I'm doing things with, you know, really helping people empower themselves. Yes, you have so much potential there where you can empower you can be healthy, you can have your quality of life, you can help others help themselves, but first you have to help yourself, of course. Absolutely. So I'm there with all the science, she's there with all the, uh, just the other uh, color factor of it, as I call it. And so our website is that education website. Then we have our other websites in which we um, talk about our products and um, the other things that we're involved in. Okay. Do you want to share those websites too? Uh, yes. Um, the other one is um, eight uh, dot com, and how it is, it's the number eight i g h t dot com. On that website has the uh, filters, which are stickers um, that that you can place, as I said before, on your um, uh, phone, laptop, modem. And then we um, also have the pendant and we're coming out with bracelets. Okay. Now what the bracelet is going to do is um, that's going to have all immune uh, properties in it as well. All the supplements in it as well and the 5G um, support. So okay. it's going to have all that in it. And uh, there is a promo code uh, TCDT large letters tcdt and that gives you the discounts but okay. people can always get in touch with me um with my web uh excuse me with my email uh my email be healthy b-e-e-h-e-a-l-t-h-y -E -E 2016 at gmail.com so that's my uh, email. Feel free to email me. Um, be more than happy to discuss uh, what exactly you're looking for um, and what different concerns that you may have. Okay, excellent. People, please reach out to Dr. Tropea and, and pick her brain about how you can be your healthiest self and then you can spread that love and compassion to everyone else. Oh my gosh, Dr. Denise, thank you so much for joining us. This has been really fascinating. I mean, I'm, I've been in healthcare for a while myself, um, but it's always, uh, I love learning. I always love learning new stuff and you just, you just made it easy to understand. You didn't talk science. <laughs> Well, you know, it's very important um, to really break it down. This is where I feel, uh, you know, this is my part two journey, you know, is to really help people understand this because it is so important. And we didn't even touch upon DNA repair. Could that be? No, part two? we did not. That definitely could be part two. We did. Yes, not. yes. I, yeah. I think this is where we're going with the evolution of supplements. Everything from vitamins to antioxidants, cell-based, now we're into nucleotides, as we call it. Those are the protein building blocks that we need to keep our DNA healthy. So I'd be more than happy to discuss that with um, anyone, as well as come back on the show and elaborate more on how important DNA repair is. Okay, you got a deal. You got a deal. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you for tuning into this episode of the Glenn Alex Show. I really hope that you found my conversation with Dr. Denise Tropea about immunity and overall health valuable. If you did, please like, subscribe, and share. And allow me to leave you with this closing thought. Civil rights activist Joan Halifax said, most of us are shrinking in the face of psychosocial and physical poisons of the toxins of our world.
but compassion, the generation of compassion, actually immobilizes our immunity. To my dismay, we in the United States are divided. So many of us are poisoned with the toxins from dogma, propaganda, greed, technology, politics, and weak mental and emotional boundaries. Allow me to remind you that poisons cause disease and kill. The pandemic exposed Americans poor toxic relationships with money, with power, justice, each other, and with self. Yes, with self. You see, you can't truly love or support another human being when you're committed to self-hate. And that commitment to self-hate requires you to ignore the beauty and inner wisdom that you were born with. And that inner wisdom is there to inform you, give you all the information and support you need to navigate life so you can experience authentic love and joy whenever you choose. But while you suppress your inner wisdom and beauty for acceptance and approval, you get infected with anger and fear. Worse, you become indifferent to the humanity of others. So I implore you for the health of our world, our planet, and for each other, please strengthen your mental and emotional boundaries and generate compassion for self and for other humans to become immune to indifference, which is the real virus. And until next time, be well.